From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engine, this is Pit Pass. Pit Pass is brought to you by Aaron's of State College on the Benner Pike. By W.R. Hickey Beer Distributor, celebrating 80 years. And by Pocono Raceway, the Tricky Triangle. Here are your hosts, Ron Fox and Jan Miller. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of Pit Pass. I'm sure I'm speaking for all of us racing fans when I say we are getting pretty tired of all this unpredictable weather. Right, Ron? Yeah, it certainly wreaked havoc with this weekend's racing schedule. Fortunately, we got to see some great racing the past few days. Now here's what's coming up on this week's show. Although Mother Nature altered its schedule, Lernerville Speedway weathered the storm and completed their entire Firecracker 100 weekend. We will have some World of Outlaws late model highlights. The PA Sprint Speed Week Series kicked off their nine race tour with Friday night's opener at Williams Grove Speedway. Some 410 action later in the show. The IndyCars return to Pocono Raceway next Sunday. We will have a preview of the Pocono IndyCar 400. And there are many special events this coming week at short tracks across the Commonwealth. We will have previews. Yes, instead of searching websites, get your paper and pen ready for details. I like the midweek specials. Speaking of which, our race weekend kicked off on Thursday with the first of two preliminary events leading up to the 7th annual Firecracker 100 featuring the World of Outlaws late models at Lernerville Speedway. Let's see who won the 30 lap $6,000 to win tune-up for the Firecracker. The 18 of Eric Wells and Steve Shaver in the 6 brought the field to the green. Wells would get the jump as we get underway. Schaefer would ride the cushion in one and two, while the one of Josh Richards works the low side. Schaefer would clear Wells to take the lead, as would Richards to move into second as we come down to complete lap one. Richards slides in front of Wells to complete the pass. Some Pennsylvania drivers ran near the front early in the race. They included the 44 of Dave Hess Jr. and Davey Johnson in the 1J. A four-car pileup at the flag stand brought out the caution with 10 laps completed. On the restart, it would be Shaver and Richards putting a little distance between themselves and Wells as they go through turns one and two and race down the backstretch. Shaver gains a little ground on Richards before hitting turn three. Richards shoots to the bottom of the turn, but has to fall in line behind Shaver on the exit. The five of Jared Landers works the outside of Russ King's number 56 to take the fourth spot. The 17 of Dale McDowell powers off of two and challenges King for a top five position. As they work their way through three and four, King splits McDowell and Landers. Landers checks up, leaving King and McDowell battling for the fourth spot. Dan Stone in the black number two rides the cushion to get by Landers while Johnson does so on the low side. On lap 18, Richards works under Shaver on the front stretch to take over the lead. He seems to lose some momentum on the exit of two, yet is able to keep Shaver behind him. Later on, Johnson and Wells had a spirited battle for third place, while Shaver still held the second position, but a number of car lengths behind Richards, who had to work lap traffic. Bob McCool would slow on the back stretch to bring out the second caution with two laps to go. On the single foul restart, Richards opens up the gap on Shaver before they hit turn one. Wells ducks to the low side, but can't get by Shaver as Richards continues to open up his lead. Wells hangs with Shaver down the backstretch. Going into turn three, Wells tries the bottom again. Shaver pulls ahead exiting four, while Johnson closes on the tail of the Wells machine. Wells secures the third spot exiting turn two. Up front, Josh Richards would go on to win Thursday night's preliminary event. Congratulations, Josh. It looked like Shaver was checking out, but uh, you really reeled him in. Yeah, you know, we had a really good car, and, uh, you know, the, the tires that everyone was on were, were uh, not really right for the track condition. So you'd run a lap or two and be really fast, and then the left rear tire would get hot, and you have to move around a little bit. So uh, I'm just kind of moving around there a little bit to see where we can gain. It's, it's really an advantage when you're running second like that, and you can kind of tell where, what's better and what's not better and uh, just tried to capitalize on it. And, uh, you know, we raced hard and, and was able to hold him off at the end. So I uh, just want to thank all my guys. Uh, we struggled this week in Canada a little bit and uh, definitely a huge confidence booster to get turned back around. And we swapped cars today 
Uh, we still got a long weekend ahead of us, but uh, it's, it's definitely a great start. Well, you got quite a jump on Shaver at the restart with only two laps to go. Yeah, we just tried to, I'm, my car took off really good on the bottom of the initial start, so I just tried to do the same thing on every restart, and uh, it worked really well. So we, uh, you know, we got, like I said, we got, we got two more races this week, hopefully if the rain holds off. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for coming out here and, and the track guys for doing a great job. Now you've raced here quite a bit. Do you prefer the dry, slick tracks or a heavy track like tonight? Uh, I'm always more comfortable in nice like tonight. You know, we're still good when it's slick like that. We just need to be a little bit better. Uh, we, we've worked on a lot of things over the winter and as well as tonight uh, that I think that we can apply once it dries up too. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be good. Well, thank you and congratulations again. All right, thank you. Shaver, Wells, and Johnson finished second through fourth. Fifth went to Darrell Lanigan, who started 12th. Friday's race was postponed until Saturday afternoon due to rain. Richard started on the pole and led every lap to take the victory. Following him across the line were Shane Clanton, Jared Landers, Austin Hubbard, and Greg Satterley. Well, that's quite an accomplishment for Josh Richards to have won both preliminary events leading up to the firecracker. Well, let's see if he can go three for three on the weekend. Coming up next, highlights from the seventh annual Firecracker 100 at Lernerville Speedway. Keep it here. You smell that? New furniture smell? Yeah, but it's more than that. It's, it smells like mine. Yep, that is just sign right here. Mine? Mine? You can. That's mine too. Thank you. This is weird. This is weird. Aaron's wants you to feel what it's like to own new furniture. You're pre-approved for up to $2,000 in merchandise without needing credit. So shop today. Get started at Aaron's.com slash 2000.